This is an opportunity for you to be an early tester of r 2 Youth Testnet. r 2 Youth is actually building the next gen synthetic stable money, which is powerfully backed up by RUA, TradeFee, and DeFi. And I'm going to take you through on how to get started on this testnet. Just make sure you join immediately you are done watching this video so that you can be an early tester. All right, what you need to do on this platform is very simple. Number one, you are just meant to swap, you are just meant to stake, and you are just meant to provide liquidity. And while you do this, you are being rewarded with the point, which is called signals. And this point actually accrue for you, and it will be what will be converted during TGE. Now, let's get started. What are those things you need to get started with? Number one, for you to get started, after you've clicked on the link on the description below this video, click on the link on the description below this video. It's going to take you to the website where you interact with the testnet. And for us to start interacting with the testnet, after you've clicked on the link, then connect your wallet first. Tap on connect wallet, or in case your own is showing code, accept the code and continue. After you've connected your wallet, you're going to see this engine start. Just get started, click on start. Then it will show you the interface where you are going to make swap as the first thing to do before you proceed to staking and providing liquidity. Now, before you do this, you need four sets. That's testnet token in order to perform all these transactions. And you need three different four sets. Number one, you need USDC, USDC that you are going to swap into the stable coin. And you need BTC. USDC and BTC will be given to you on the Discord server. I'm going to show you how you will get them on the Discord server. And thirdly, you need Sepolia Fawcett. Sepolia Fawcett. I will drop all the links where you can get Sepolia Fawcett on the description below this video. And I will also show you the Telegram for set Telegram platform where you can get Sepulia for set just for free as well, in case of anything. All right, to, be, to begin with, let's go to the Discord server and request for for set token for the testnet interaction. I also dropped the link to the Discord server on the description below this video. Just click on it. It's going to take you to the Discord, accept the invite, and you verify on the Discord so that you have access to other channels on the Discord server. Once you've done that, then you locate this place where you see testnet. Once you've seen that, then you just click on that testnet. You will see people requesting for four sets. You get this is some other people that are requesting for the same four set that you need. How do you request for four sets? Then you just scroll, you just come down. You will see where you can type on message. As if you want to type, just use slash. You can see on my screen slash four set F A U. The moment you are typing, before you complete typing, it will show it to you. You can see slash four set. Tap on it. Once you tap on it, then it will ask you to impute your address. Paste your address. Make sure you've copied your your address, your wallet that you already connected. Then you send it. After you sent it, they will tell you that they've sent you four sets. You can see this is me. They have actually credited or sent me four sets, which you can claim every 24 hours. After you've claimed it, then go to back to your to the website to interact with the testnet. Now, if you come back to the website platform, then if you check and you connect your wallet, you're going to see the balance of the four set token that you actually received. It has reflected on mine. You are seeing 1,500. They gave me 1,000. It was because I started yesterday, and the remaining balance is what makes it to be 1,5. Now, for you to, to perform your transaction, you need Sepolia four set in order to successfully make your transaction. If you want to swap, if you want to do anything, that Sepulia Force will serve as gas fee that you can use. All right, let's go to Sepulia platform. I will drop the link on the description below this video. You see different platforms, different links where you can get Sepulia Force. But out of all of them, I will use one where you can actually get it. You can do check the rest on your own. These are all the links to Sepulia Fawcett if you want to claim Sepulia Fawcett. 
But nonetheless, I'll just make use of this second one, number two, which is Telegram bot, and it's easy to get. It will take me to my Telegram, and if you also click on it, it will take me to my Telegram. Then on it, as a new user, you need to start the bot. As a new user of this false set trade, you need to start the bot, then you click on start to start the bot, and they are gonna give you tasks to do to join communities, make sure you join the communities, and the next is capture, you will solve this capture, they will just give you some this, uh, this, and they will out of number one, two, three, four, they want you to pick the one that, that, that actually correlates with the one given to you. Then after you've done that successfully, they will ask you to drop your wallet address to receive it. Then you pick the four set you need. Don't forget that you need Sepolia Ed. Make sure that it is Sepolia Ed four set you pick. Because once you pick any, you will, it's, it's in the next for the 24 hours. You only come back in the next 24 hours to claim again. Every 24 hours you get four Sepolia four set from here. Then you pick Sepolia four set and they will give you is 0 0.5, 0 0.05 Sepolia faucet. And you do that on a daily basis to get Sepolia faucet. You can also interact with other links, other websites where you can get Sepolia faucet also because it's also needful. Now that you've actually got both USDC, BTC, and Sepolia faucet, the first interaction you have to do is to swap. You just have to swap your USDC that you got. You swap it to R R2 USD. Then I can just impute the amount. Perhaps I want to swap like 200 USDC. And I can use it to buy R2 USD. Click on buy. After you've clicked on buy, then you confirm the transaction. Then once you've actually purchased your R2 USD by swapping USDC to R2 USD, then that means you have already swapped. And mind you, for all these transactions you are doing, actually as the reward. Just click on this icon, this R icon, then that is where you need all other information which is we have already done the swapping part. We have swapped. Now we need to, to click on N. Click on N and click on the arrow. Then click on SRU, SR2 USD. Click on SR2 USD. From SR2 USD, you will swap the, you will swap part of the R2 USD that you have. You will swap it to SR, SR2 USD. Let me swap like 100. And then the swapping is not like you are swapping, you are staking, rather. You are staking R2 USD to get SR2 USD. Click on stake and confirm transaction from your wallet. And mind you, like I told you before, this is Sepolia Head. You can see this is a gas fee. That's why you needed Sepolia Head. Confirm the transaction. Once the transaction is successful and you've confirmed it, now we have already staked R2 USD to SR2 USD. The next thing we need to do is to, to also stake our BTC. Now click on the same icon and click on N. On that N, you will see that we've done the first one, then click on BTC slash X. Once you've clicked on BTC slash ETH, then number one thing is that you have two things to do here. If you have Sepolia ETH, you can decide to stake Sepolia ETH. But just first take your BTC, click here on that ETH, then pick WBTC. Then you now impute the amount you want to stake, 0 0.01. Then I want to deposit my BTC, WBTC, in order to get R2 BTC. Click on deposit and confirm transaction from your wallet. Confirm your transaction. Once your transaction is successful, you've actually deposited WBTC in order to earn R2 BTC. That is, you have staked it. 
Now, click on that same WBTC in case you have Sepolia Ed. If you have your Sepolia Ed, you can also stake your Ed, Sepolia Ed, to get R2 Ed. Now, let me just impute this, uh, my, part of my Sepolia Ed. I can impute like one. I have Sepolia Ed. Then I deposit it and confirm the transaction. Confirm your transaction. Now that your transaction is successful, if you read the information below, they will tell you that withdrawal requests are available after 14 days and seven days processing. That means what you stake, you'll be able to withdraw it after 14 days. And once you make a withdrawal, it will take another seven days processing. All right, you know, now we have swapped and we have staked. The next thing we need to do is to go and provide liquidity. Click on the same place, that same icon. You know, we have already interacted with swap and end by staking our, staking this and also staking this. The next thing we click is to click on reward. Click on reward, click on reward to provide liquidity. Click on reward. On reward, you will see liquidity. Click on liquidity. We're going to see two different coins to provide liquidity. Here we have, we have USDC and R2 USDC, and we have we have R2 USDC and SRUSDC. That means you must have. How do you provide liquidity? You mo it means that on these two coins that you are given, you must have fund on the two. If you have 100 USDC and you want to provide liquidity worth of 100 USDC, you must also have that same 100 USDC on same amount on R2 USDC. If you want to provide liquidity on R2 USD, you must, and the same amount, whatever amount you want to provide, you must also have the same on SRUSDC. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, what do you do? Just click on Add Liquidity. Add liquidity. Adding liquidity, if you notice here, I have 100 on my R2 USDC, and I have enough on my USDC. That means I cannot provide liquidity that is more than this R2 USDC. Then I can just impute 100. If I impute more than 100 of what I have in, the, in this balance, it will tell me insufficient balance. That means I can only provide liquidity based on what I have on the second asset. Now, click on Add Liquidity and confirm transaction on your wallet. Confirm the transaction. Successfully added my liquidity. Now, the second one, click here to add liquidity here. And you will notice here that on this R2 USD, I have 100 as well. I can impute the 100. And also, you notice I have 100 here. I have 200 here. Whatever liquidity I want to provide with the first one must actually be the fact that there is sufficient balance on the second coin, second asset. Now, click on Add Liquidity. Confirm the transaction. Once the liquidity is actually added, then you are good to go. And in case you don't have enough fund, remember to always go back to your swap and swap your fund, your USDC to R2 USDC, R2 USD, in case you need it, whether to stake or to provide liquidity. Now, the last thing you need to do here is just to come here and go to and scroll down and come to rewards. Then you can come to overview. Once you come to overview, number one, you are going to see the number of people that are running the test net. That's total user. And secondly, every of your reward based on your staking and based on liquidity you provided, all the activities, they are what will give you this point. This point is actually called signal. And this signal, it can for you every hour and for the whole 24 hours. This is my, my point for yesterday. I started yesterday. And now, these are the points is actually given. If you buy an old R2 USD, you are going to get times one reward per hour. If you stake an old SR2 USD, you are going to get times 10 reward per hour. If you provide liquidity for 
USDC and R2 USD, you get times 10. And if you provide liquidity for SR2 USDC and R2 USDC, you get 20 times. And also for BTC yield, you you stake BT, uh, WBTC, you get times 5. And if you stake H yield, that's your Sepolia H, you get times 5. These are how these points are actually counted in order for you to get reward daily. Mind you, this test net, make sure you join and be an early tester before millions of people join, before it goes viral. Now, the last thing you need to do, the last thing you need to do on this test net is what I want to show you now. Just click on the Gaussi tax. There's a Gaussi tax link on the description below this video. Click on the Gaussi tax and do the quest that is there. This is Gaussi. I know some of you are not familiar with Gaussi, but make sure you do this Gaussi tax. How do you do the Gaussi tax? When you click on the link on the description below this video, then it's going to take you to the page and I would admonish you to switch your to switch your phone to desktop view. Click there and desktop side, tap on it. Then it's going to be on the desktop view. I've completed my own task and this is how you do your tax on Gaussi. Just come here and log in. You are going to see login. Login with your wallet, the same wallet you use to perform the transactions. I mean to run testnet. After you've done that, come here and click on this icon, that round icon. Once you click on the round icon, you will see settings. You will see settings. And then you go and add your social on the settings. On that settings, you are going to see your all your socials. I mean in terms of your Twitter, your Discord, and your Telegram. Add your account to them so that any tax you run, if you want to verify it, it will be easy to verify. Now, what do you need to do on the Galaxy? Just follow them, follow them, and then once you follow, just always come here and click on here to confirm anything you do. Make sure you tick it or it turns to green. Once you run all the tax, then you just have to claim the point, whether as an oath or the point. Claim it here. You will see that I've already claimed mine. I've claimed mine. Let me just zoom it for you. You can see mine. It is showing for me claimed. I've claimed my point. Then that is just how to, to do it. If you have any further question about this project, kindly drop a comment on the comment section. Don't forget to join my Telegram channel for further updates. Bye for now.